The college football coaching carousel got underway officially last weekend when Bowling Green fired Mike Jinks. Now, in a normal year, this would open the floodgates to all kinds of coaching changes. But this year, it's looking like not so much. Schools with the combination of just the buyout money they've laid out in recent years, the fact there's been a lot of changes already in the past two cycles, just does not seem to be ripe for a lot of movement right now. Now, let me give you a couple situations to keep an eye on. North Carolina, one and four, not real happy with Larry Fedora. He's got a pretty big buyout, $13 million. People in the business are unsure whether North Carolina really wants to pay that. Empty seats at the end of the year could be a big factor in whether they bring Fedora back. Georgia Tech has been a disappointment. Paul Johnson's been there a long time. A little bit of apathy setting in. He's got a small buyout, $4 million. Would not be surprised to see Georgia Tech decide to move on. Uh, Kansas, certainly a candidate to make a change. David Beatty's not done very well there, although they have won a couple games this year. And then Kansas State, Bill Snyder, 79. Obviously, he calls the shots when he wants to go, and it's unclear. He's had health issues. They're not very good this year. Does he want to keep going or not? Other than that, Rutgers, Vanderbilt, it's just not a very robust year for jobs. Now, let me tell you a couple that I don't think are going to open. Auburn, $30 million plus owed to Gus Malzahn. Sorry, I know they've been bad. That's not going to happen. And then USC, there's been some people unhappy with Clay Helton, but they're 4-2. They control the Pac-12 South division right now. And barring an absolute meltdown, I am told his job is safe. It's really not going to be a very exciting year on the coaching carousel. We've had some really exciting years the last couple with the high profile jobs opening this year it looks like it's all quiet on the western front